girls welcome back to my channel if this is your very first time here my name is maya so y'all today we are going to be filming another solo date vlog it has been a quick a little minute since we've done one of these and i have been really excited to get back into them <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with my solo date vlogs i'm gonna get y'all a little spiel here in a second but we are headed into the studio so that we can do our makeup and head out for the day so let's go ahead in here i'm gonna uh, up my lighter so we can light a candle set the vibe set the mood you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So we are about to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. We're not really focusing on products today. So I might like be like, this is what I'm using and just continue to use it without any explanation or any tutorial or anything like that. So I am about to use my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat. For my brows, this one is in natural black. So yeah, for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with my solo date vlogs, in general, for a little backstory, I started doing solo date vlogs, um, well, solo dates in general, and then they turned into content because I wanted to get more comfortable with myself, like more comfortable with my own company. And I felt like it was important for me to get to know myself during my single season in general, but it happened during my single season. And I felt like that was super duper important for me to take the time out to really like focus on me, think about some of the things that I want to do in my life intentionally, and just allow me to really like decompress and process my own like life thoughts moves in my life, you know? So pretty much in this series, we uh, take ourselves out, obviously. <laughs> But we do do certain girl talk topics that's just pretty much about life, love, and self, self-discovery, self-body image, you know, self-image, things like that. And today we are going to be talking about being still in order to change your life. <laughs> I'm going to be talking pretty much about my personal experience with this when it comes to relationships and when it comes to my career and how I felt like being intentionally still <laughs> in life and allowing God to pretty much take the wheel is what changed my life so drastically and in a short amount of time like if I had to put any type of advice on how to do that this would be this would be that advice <laughs> so I am constantly constantly at what is the secret or what did I do to like make my life change so drastically usually when people are asking me this they're referring to me getting married super fast and things like that really really long story short um I was one of those women that really desired marriage uh want to get married want to settle down and have my family you know get out the streets type of thing and just like move on with my life and have that part done so that was a desire of mine and I pretty much did what I already told y'all uh focused on myself and did all these things and and it kind of just dropped in my lap I met my husband last March we were engaged by May we were married by December this happened really really quick after you know just some years of longing and wanting that to happen so typically when someone's asking me that question that's usually what they're talking about we're using this NARS euphoria face palette today so yeah if I had to answer the question like what was it or what's the secret I would have to say it's the letting go and letting God. <laughs> and another way of saying that is being still. So just as a disclaimer, um, I am a Christian and we can't talk about life without talking about God. I literally just said that <laughs> a couple vlogs ago. So just to let y'all know, God finna be all up and through this conversation. So you've been forewarned. <laughs> but me, just like anyone else, I feel like we typically in life, I feel like we want what we want and we want it right now like we want it to happen now we want to figure out a way for it to happen the fastest way that it can happen possibly and for me that got me absolutely <laughs> absolutely nowhere but as women you know we have goals we want maybe it's a relationship goal maybe we want to get married and we want to settle down maybe we want to you know be healthy and have a fit body maybe we want to purchase a house maybe we want you know a better job like we want these things and typically like we ain't trying to wait for them you know what I'm saying okay y'all I had to go ahead and do the eyes off camera because if not we was gonna be sitting here all day Okay, all day. It takes me forever. I can't just talk freely while I'm doing my eyeshadow. So anyway, 
So if we're talking about the stuff that we want now, I would have to say for me personally in the past, something that I've seen God do was my relationship status. Like in the past, I wanted that husband, I wanted that family. But now um, I have some career goals and some things that I saw happening at this point in my career as far as my numbers and where I am that aren't exactly happening the way that I thought that it would. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely have some feelings now, kind of similar to how I used to feel about the relationship thing. Like in general, I want this to be happening for me. Why is it not happening for me? I have this many subscribers. I have this, why are this, why is this brand not looking at me? That type of thing or like, when it comes to like the progression and where I thought I would be at this point. But I have to be honest and say that I feel like um, in the situation I've been in in the past, it definitely helped me back when I was trying to make it happen on my own. <laughs> when it's like, okay, Lord, this is what I want and I'm about to try to make this happen. Like we're seeking it out, we're looking for it type of thing. For me, it was like staying in situations where I know I should not have been in out of fear of not finding anything else or anything better or not really having the faith in God that he's gonna change the situation and make it be what I've always wanted it to be. In other words, I was forcing my hand. It's like, okay, Lord, I don't have time to wait for you. I don't wanna be patient. Um, apparently it's showing I don't have that much trust in you, Lord. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. But that's where I was at the time, you know? So I pretty much was forcing my hand and just trying to make, make it happen. <laughs> on my own you know but the crazy thing is that sometimes that's actually I'm not gonna say a good thing but sometimes God lets you like act out like he gonna let you show out do what you want to do the waste your time <laughs> you know what I'm saying not only because once you're out of it and you do trust the Lord you'll be more appreciative and you'll know that you know that you know that it's him but also God allows us to be in certain situations that are not supposed to last super long. Sometimes to teach you a lesson, you know, sometimes to make me better than I was, or maybe I'm gonna need something from a certain situation that I'm in that maybe it's not supposed to have longevity, but maybe the person that I come out of that situation being will be better for the situation that he does have for me longevity wise, if that makes sense. For a long time, um, my past relationship that I was in for what, almost four years, I complained the first like year. So after that, like, oh my God, God, why did you allow me to waste my time like that? And you know, this was not good for me. And I can't believe I wasted this time with this person. Like it was a whole lot of that kind of talk happening. I just felt like I wasted so much of my life on this person. But I look back and I'm like, what kept me there though? Fear, feeling like I was getting older and that I wasn't gonna find anything better. Fear of men and being a single mother and having a daughter and introducing someone else to her and taking a risk. Like all of these things kept me in that situation. In hindsight, I realized that some of the lessons that I learned in that situation, in that relationship, is what helped me to be a better woman for the husband that God had for me, you know, or the situations that God had for me after that. So in that way, I can say those situations can be good, <laughs> you know? If we are in the situations where we're trying to make it happen or things like that, not that we're supposed to be, y'all get what I'm saying, it's hard to explain, but y'all get me. <laughs> but then also it can be bad, right? for the obvious, obvious reasons. Sometimes those things are actually keeping us from what God has for us. Like for me, I feel like me being with my ex and being in that situation was, I'm not gonna say holding me back because all in God's timing, right? <laughs> but God didn't give me the life that I have now, career-wise, relationship-wise, growth-wise, all of those things until he was out the picture. You go, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, Though it can be looked at as a positive, like God is using that situation for you to get better and woo woo. It also can be a situation where God is like, okay, once you let this go, like I've been telling you to let this go <laughs> and let me do my thing, then I can do my thing, which for me was synonymous with being still. Literally, if you guys don't know this, literally what blew up my channel as far as having a larger following and doing this full time and things like that, 
was my makeup for beginners series that I came out with and y'all God gave me that idea for that series a month after I left my ex <laughs> because he was not supposed to be a part of that and so things just took off from there however I say that to say for me it's important to take my hands off <laughs> sometimes because <laughs> we want to have control you know and I know for a fact that I'm not just speaking for myself like we want control we want to feel like we have some type of control over our lives as women and if I'm giving an equal example when it comes to career for me too y'all it's really the same thing even though I'm in this situation still now there are certain things that I want to make happen right now <laughs> I'm realizing that the point of this whole thing is that I am being still and I'm allowing God to, you know, move and do the things he wants to do and give me the things that maybe I didn't even realize were for me. You know, sometimes what we look at our life and we say, hey, I want one, two, three, four and five. When the God is like, no, I want six, seven, eight, nine, ten for you. Not only are they different, but they're higher <laughs> and more valuable and will do better for you and be better for you than what you thought you wanted. So for me, I'm actively in that space of accepting that when it comes to my career but I most definitely have moments where I'm like telling my manager I want to do this we're not saying no to any of these partnerships we're gonna do this we're gonna do that trying to get into the doors that I thought would be open for me at this point you know just got my hand all up and through okay <laughs> so pretty much I asked myself the question like what would it look like if I did let go and let God um I'm speaking from the experience of the whole you know wanting to be married and settle down so that part can be over and I focus on my career and all these things like y'all I hated dating I hated dating and that's one thing me and my husband had in common oh, we ain't, <laughs> ain't nobody trying to be out in these streets okay it is ghetto in these streets not interested <laughs> so you know i wanted to settle down i was ready to have my man and be in love and move forward and be able to have a partner in life so many people misconstrue that about me they think i was just so desperate to have a man because i need a man first of all yeah i do need my man <laughs> and i ain't got no shame in saying that however y'all i just am a person that desired a more settled down life like I, I like the aspects of being a wife I want to just have my husband and not have to be in the streets trying to talk to this is that and the other you kind of need a man to have more kids <laughs> so it's like I just want that part to be over so I can move on with my life and yes that was a goal of mine and I'm not ashamed about it so say how you want about me baby have a ball <laughs> I know what I wanted god I gave it to me and now I'm here and I'm fine and I'm good. <laughs> and I pray that, you know, he continues to bless in that area. However, that was a little side note. <laughs> After I left my ex, I was like intentionally out here looking sis. Like I was, I was knocking on 30. I wanted to be done. I want to be done. So I will most definitely say I was looking like I was on online dating. I was looking up speed dating. I was like just doing the things, asking people, do they have somebody to introduce me to? Like I was trying to make it happen okay and then I got to a point where obviously the situations I was in was not working out for me and I had no problem letting a dude go but I got to a point where I did get saved and God let me know he said look let me handle this what I need you to do is figure out you <laughs> because you ain't exactly where you need to be for me to hand you to the man you're asking me for and I was like yeah you 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 right about that lord you're right so you know it was a situation where guys like let go let me do my thing be still and being still for me did not mean i wasn't dating it didn't mean that i wasn't you know interested anymore i wasn't doing anything for me it was more stop trying to force my hand like in my career I'm not about to just be still meaning I don't do no work and just wait for God to just let it happen no I still need to be posting every week I still need to be consistent I still need to be working and doing what I need to be doing it's just that I'm allowing God to give me the opportunities he wants to give me speak to me ask God should I take this should I take that be still be more silent be less forceful more God 
flow with the work that I'm doing. I just kind of stopped trying and not that, you know, other people can't do online dating and things like that. Like I'm never saying that. I'm usually always speaking for myself, but I do know that God well, didn't want that for me. He wanted me to chill. He wanted me to focus on myself and pretty much to completely take my hand off of the whole getting married, finding a relationship type of thing. And once I did take hands off, y'all, like he completely removed my mind. Like when I tell y'all, <laughs> I was so, if you watch me during this time, um, up until like last March, when I started looking for a house in Atlanta, then you know, baby, I was not focused on that at all anymore. Like I wasn't making videos like about, you know, finding a man or, you know, being lonely or anything like that. I wasn't speaking to that. I was just enjoying my life. I was single. Like I was literally just out here just living and doing my thing. I had made my list, you know, the man that I wanted God to give me or whatever the case may be, put that under my mattress, prayed on it, gave it to Jesus and never thought about it again. <laughs> like that's where I was one day working, again, working, had reservations to go to dinner by myself, just chilling and not, you know, not stressing about it, just chilling. Met my husband, random, on, on our random tip. like. <laughs> <laughs> random and was married before the year was up. Another thing that I try to remember though also is that sometimes in the process of being still and waiting on God, praying on it, being silent as he's nudging you in certain directions, one thing you might realize which happened to me is that sometimes he'll reveal a path that is not necessarily, like I said, what you had in mind. <laughs> in the first place because we think we know everything we is me I thought I knew everything I knew what my life what, what I want my life to look like I knew what I wanted my husband to be I personally knew all of these things that were God was going to bless me with and God's like no I'm gonna give you what I want to give you because this is what you actually need even though you don't know that you need it so <laughs> and I will go ahead and say also career wise, God has already been kind of giving me insight um, that the career that I thought I had in mind for myself um, and where this was gonna go, the opportunities I was gonna get, is actually gonna look a lot different than what I thought it would look like going into this and as I've been working all these years. For me, literally in the past couple months, I have been intentionally letting a God do his thing in my career. Like letting him tell me what I need to be doing, what I need to, you know, focus back on in my career to go in the direction that he wants me to go. Just really truly seeking his guidance. And recently, like I said, he has been revealing to me that the things that I feel like I'm missing out on right now or where I thought I would be, doesn't truly matter because that's never been the plan in the first place. <laughs> but I, I wanted that to be the plan. But what he's been starting to reveal to me is that he has something way better and way greater for my career, which like I said, is different from what I thought it was gonna be. But it's like, okay, Lord, cool if that's where we're going <laughs> then lead me guide me help me to be still in the sense of not forcing my hand to get the things that I thought I wanted or the things that I the things push me in the direction where I wanted to be going where's my mascara I know it's here you know how something you know you're looking for something and it's literally right in your face but you don't see it But that's been my my prayer, is that Lord, lead me, guide me, help me to be still, help me to seek you when it comes to decisions, all of these things so that I can go in the direction that you want me to go. So that's, that's where we are. <laughs> but since then, God has definitely been um, uh, leading me in that direction and letting me know what he wants me to do. And I'm, you know, I'm acting on these things. It's like, okay, Lord, this is the path now. Cool, gotcha. But help me in the meantime, because I still have some of those desires for what I thought this was going to be. I feel like the natural next um, question in this is like, okay, how did you hear from God? How did you know that God was telling you to do this, to do that? Like, what does that look like? If I am choosing to be still for my life, how do I know God is pushing me in what direction? You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna talk about that in the core. 
<laughs> on the way um, to our solo date. There's this place in um, Atlantic Station that's so freaking cute. It's so cute. And we're gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair right now, but for now, we're just gonna kind of just let it be. And let me spray my face first because we need this to last. I should have guarded my eyes. Sometimes when I have on all matte eyeshadow, I need to cover it because it's matte and it gets wet and then I got little dots on it and that's not cute. <laughs> let's relocate let's go into my room and let's get dressed and choose an outfit i kind of already got idea what i want to wear but let's see if it actually works <laughs> and um do fragrance and all of those things and then we are gonna head out in a second and keep talking all right All right, y'all, so we're about to go ahead and get dressed. Um, as you can see, we have an outfit already picked out that I think would be really, really cute. So the only thing is I want to wear this yellow button down um, open. So I'm deciding on a white top underneath or if we want to do a beige top underneath or a black top underneath. I think we're going to try on all three. You guys can tell me what you think. This is a linen, kind of like a kind of a silky linen finish i don't know it's uh, i don't know how to explain it anyway it's from h&m i just bought it a couple vlogs ago so we gonna bust her out today do a little color y'all know i ain't i ain't really that <laughs> colorful but you know we're gonna do it today let me go and get my black tank top and then let's choose which top looks the best so i like the white one because i feel like it's giving summer like i feel like it clashes a little bit with the off-white bag and the shoes are off-white too beige type of crop top i like too because it's also bright but it's not the exact same color as the bag and the shoes the black i do not like because it's just too monochromatic underneath i look shapeless like you don't see any breaking up of the body like no so y'all i decided to go ahead in with the white i think this is the cutest the cutest choice i'm wearing my chanel bag from a distance they look the same color but the chanel bag and the shoes are off white but you know i feel like it still does something and i like how the white is brighter and it breaks up the outfit whereas the black was just like all one and i did not like that that was my original plan for the outfit obviously it did not work out fragrance Fragrance and then jewelry. So originally y'all, I was gonna do my Soleil Blanc, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, because this smells super good. Mm, so good. But I'm deciding because I did get a, um, a sample from Sephora the other day of Killian Princess and Baby. That smells good. I think that might be my next um, perfume purchase, but I might wear that one instead of this one. I don't, hmm, I don't know. This one is cute and it's matching the aesthetic of the day and the other one is a sample and it's not. But you know, does it really matter? You know what I'm saying? It don't really matter. <laughs> so yeah, I got my Killian Princess. <laughs> my little bitty, um, <laughs> I love you put it right. This is my little bitty um, tester. So I think we're just gonna wear this because this smells absolutely amazing. I can't wait for my husband to smell me. <laughs> He's gonna love that. So that's what we're gonna do with the fragrance. Let's figure out jewelry, because I don't think I wanna keep on these. Um, so, I mean, it is the middle of the day. It doesn't need to be super like <laughs> dressy, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on some hoops. And y'all, just as a little disclaimer, this hair is coming out ASAP. Thinking about doing some tape-ins, y'all. Ah, where'd my earring go? Maya, you cannot lose a diamond earring. Wait a minute. I gotta get on all fours, child. I need to find my earring. It's here somewhere, child. We'll find it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go in with these hoops. The simple, basic gold hoop. You guys know I love a simple, basic gold hoop. Let's go downstairs. I need to put on some body butter before we head out. So y'all, I'm trying to decide which one of these I wanted to use earlier in the shower or after the shower. I use this nude sugar cream, which is from Nude Sugar. <laughs> which is Tony Braxton's line. And then I also have Fenty Skin, of course, Rihanna's line. And this is like her vanilla whipped butter drop. This one is really shimmery. I, honestly, I think this is the one I'm gonna go for. And we're gonna go ahead and add these to the legs to make us nice and smooth, you know what I'm saying? This one kind of has like a shimmer to it. That's why I really like this one. It really like makes the skin shimmer. And I feel like it smells good with the Killian Princess as well, so. I don't really need it all over the place, but that works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my shoes on and then we can check out and see what this whole outfit looks like. 
All right, guys, so this is the full outfit. Hopefully you guys can see the entire get up. Um, this is what we're looking like. <laughs> um, also, if you watched my last vlog, that's where I ended up putting the wall decor that I had in the boys' bathroom. So went ahead and put it there, and I actually really love it there. So anyway, this is the whole fit. It's getting cute. I'm loving it. Um, I think I might go ahead and tie up the top. I could also put a bra on with this, guys, but mm, it's hot and I don't feel like it. Um, but it would class it up a little bit. I'm very aware. <laughs> but yeah, I think I might go ahead and tie. I'm gonna need to go to a mirror here to make sure this is good. But I feel like this is a cute daytime summer solo date outfit. I know it's giving a little a little short, a little tight, but I think it's cute, you know, because it's not like we got a lot of breast out and arms out and everything like that. I think it's, um, I think it's a nice little balance. Let's grab our bag, y'all, and let's go ahead and get up out of here. I'm gonna check the mirror real quick and make sure I'm loving how everything is looking. There you go. I will see you guys in the car. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, we're in the car, headed out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep my hair like this. I did just pull it back into a ponytail and then put a claw clip on the back. And then I also changed out my earrings and I put on um, a different necklace. I put on two, two like very simple chains. But anyway, y'all, during our Get Ready With Me, I'll let you guys know that I wanted to kind of talk about how you hear from God. Not you, but me. I gotta get out of the habit of saying you, 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 because I never want people to feel like I'm preaching. I'm really always sharing my personal experience, so. Here's how I feel like I hear from God. In moments where I feel like I should be being still and waiting on the Lord and everything like that and kind of hearing what direction he wants me to go. For me, number one is just what I just said, being still and being quiet. I think sometimes we forget that our prayers and our relationship with God is a two-way street. It's not just always about me telling God, hey, I want this or want that and I'm praying for this and want that. I got to realize that I got to give God time to speak to me and tell me something. And for me, that means being silent sometimes and listening in my prayer time. And just in general, when I'm in those moments of I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Literally being intentional and stopping, turning off all music, stepping away from family, just allowing God to like talk to me. In general, stopping all of the trying to tell God what I want and make things happen. Like literally being still in my mind to allow God to come in and plant seed. Because the last thing I want to do is be like telling God what I want him to do when I want him to do what he knows he wants to do for me because he knows best and he knows the full book and I only see this page, you know what I'm saying? It's very much a conversation. I gotta remind myself of that by being still being quiet. Another thing, for me, I'm always on the lookout for confirmation because if I'm asking God something specific or I'm waiting for him to move, I'm on the lookout to see if he's giving me the answer that I am looking for. And I just personally believe that God will meet you where you are. If I'm looking for confirmation, y'all, like, even if I'm not looking, God will show up in the places where I am. If I'm on social media, God will give me some on social media. If I am driving down the street, God will give me a bumper sticker. He'll give me a billboard. He'll give me even random people on the street or people that, you know, I come in contact with at restaurants. Like I've had people prophesy to me and pull me to the side. Like God is everywhere in, in everything and in everyone. For me, I try not to limit what that can look like because I know that God created all of this. Who am I to think that God can't show up for me in a social media post or give me an answer? Like on a commercial, you know what I'm saying? So I'm always got to look out for that. But then lastly, I remember that coincidences are actually not coincidences, okay? And then repetitiveness also is not a coincidence. So when I am asking God for something or asking him to lead me and guide me and he's giving me an idea here and then I get the same idea two days later by watching TV. Then I get the same idea because my sister mentions it on the phone. Like, that ain't no coincidence. That for me is like, okay, Lord. And then I'll go, you know, to make sure. I'll go in my prayer time. I'll ask God, lead me, guide me. This is the direction you want me to go. He'll give me a piece about it to where I feel like 
so much peace and I know that this is what God is telling me to do I have a peace I don't have a pushback to it so yeah I'm not gonna say that happens every time but I definitely have some very serious moments in my life where God has spoke to me in that way and like I was saying earlier when we were doing makeup y'all sometimes what he is telling you <laughs> does not look exactly the way that you pictured it or you wanted it to be like I have so many examples of that in my life and obviously I'm living through one now with my career but I feel like that's why trust and faith is so important you gotta have faith that he knows what he's doing like for me if I'm gonna trust God in the direction he tells me that I'm going I've got to trust him and I can't be like well God you know I can't be nitpicky about it this truck is getting really close to me and I'm nervous when I have a preconceived notion about the direction that my life is going, like, it's honestly pretty dumb, honestly. Because the maker of all things, like, you can't just tell him how it's going to be. Because I, rem I know now, especially as an influencer, as a YouTuber, and with the platform that I have, my story is not just about me. What God has in store for me also will affect so many people around me not just my husband and my children but all of the hundreds of thousands of women who watch me on a regular basis I don't believe that God just you know it's just thinking about me like God works in numbers not in singles and something that he's telling me to talk about on my channel I know it's not just about me sharing my opinion and my story it's also about you know Keisha that lives in New York and what she needs to hear to make it through the week. You know what I'm saying? Like, I realize that. But it's also hard for me sometimes because because God gives me sometimes what I need versus what I want. Sometimes I do get what I want. But it's not always, it doesn't always look the way that I just imagined it. I believe that God does um, care about the desires of our hearts, right? That's why when we ask for something, sometimes he gives us the things that we want. But sometimes it'll be a little bit more of things that we need or things that we don't know that we need. I believe that God knows way better than us because also in this time of social media, <laughs> pretty much deciding what people think about life. And what sucks is that social media comes and goes, right? So at one moment, it's really popular to be this independent woman, have your own cash, buy your own house, do all this stuff by yourself, I don't need no man. Then the next moment is, I'm a stay-at-home girlfriend. I ain't working, I ain't doing nothing. And now everyone adopts this mindset that this is what is universally accepted. Yeah, for me, like, I don't care about none of that stuff. I care about what God says, how he says we're supposed to live, what he puts value on. Because that's what's not gonna change. So the media, comes and goes this is a little side note this is not the point anyways pretty much all i'm trying to say y'all is i have to ask myself how much do i trust the lord how much do i trust him to the point where i know that he is going to put me in the right position and in the and steer me in the right direction for my life because if i have full trust and faith in god in that it ain't nothing but up for me for me because I know that God has promised me great things. And if I keep trying to put my hand in it and try to make that happen, what he wants for me might not happen. I might be delaying it. I might be pushing it off. Um, I might even be taking myself out of position. So working on trusting the Lord right now in my career situation, still an ongoing thing for me, but I am doing it. And I know that God will do what he says he's going to do. Because he's already shown me that he will do it. Um, in my relationship situation and my husband and my life and all of these things so anyway y'all let's roll out we're probably gonna do a cute little voiceover um before our solo day then i'll show you guys everywhere where we're going I'm about to hop on the highway and i'm gonna see y'all when we get there So for today's solo date, y'all, we are going to Atlantic Station in Atlanta, and we are going to the Rose Bistro and Champagne Bar. Last time I was in Atlantic Station with my husband, y'all, I saw this place and I fell in love, and I knew that I wanted to come here uh, for a solo date and to create some confidence. So here we are. 
But y'all, for me, spending time alone allows me to really dedicate time thinking about this kind of intentionality for my life. Like, when I don't take time out for myself to focus on how I can move better in my life, I kind of just end up doing whatever without a real goal or plan because life just be life and getting in the way, you know? So you just kind of roll with the punches. But to get back to the topic, once I was intentionally still when it came to relationships and I allowed God to align me where he wanted me to be, I put myself into position for the best that he had to offer me. Didn't meet my husband the way I dreamed in my head. Some of the details of the situation was far off from what I had imagined, but God gave me exactly what I wanted and gave me what I needed and some of the things I didn't know that I needed. Right now, I am being super consistent and still in my career and allowing God to show me which way to go without me deciding that for myself. And then that showing in my actions when it comes to my career. He's already given me some insight I told you guys that my career isn't going where I thought and to trust him and to just completely have faith so that's pretty much where we are currently and we we run with it one thing that gives me the best comfort that I know I can ever get is knowing that he did before so why wouldn't he do it again and I know now I have absolutely nothing to worry about and I'm just gonna stay the course and stay still and stay consistent and do what I need to do without forcing my hand in my own life and letting God just kind of take over. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's solo date vlog and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.